Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another Meds in the Morning. Time to empower you today. How are you today? I hope you are having a great day. Uh, to all my friends out there, I'm going to give a big shout out to Cheryl and Gambi from Zambia, who is always in the stream. Uh, I know she missed the live, but don't worry about it, Cheryl. I'm just taking a little rest. I will soon be back live on meds in the morning. Now, our scriptures are taken from, or rather, I should say, our affirmations are taken from Ephesians 7 verses 8 to 9, Ephesians 4 verse 2 to 3, and Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 3. So without further ado, let's get into them. Ephesians 7 verses 7 to 8. The end of a matter is better than its beginning, and patience is better than pride. Do not be provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap of fools. And Ephesians 4 verses 2 to 3. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. And finally, Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Hallelujah. So those are our scriptures and our affirmations. Why I look a little lean. Let me see. No, no. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so our first affirmation. I am determined to exercise patience rather than pride and will not be easily provoked in my spirit. I am determined to exercise patience rather than pride and will not be easily provoked in my spirit. I am determined to be completely humble and gentle, patient, and promise to bear up my fellows in love. I promise to make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. All is well with me because I honor my father and mother and enjoy long life on earth. Amen. So before we pray, let me just share with you our promotion that we're doing. That's coming up on December 19th. And then we'll come back and pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. May we, Lord, not be just heirs of the word, but doers of the word. And as we speak these words and affirmations based on your word over our lives, may we see improvement in our relationships as our focus this week, Lord, is to pray for relationships. May our relationships, both intimate and otherwise, Lord, be improved. May our Relationships with our fellow man see a marked improvement, mighty God, as we seek to humble ourselves and seek peace, mighty God, to demonstrate your kingdom to others, to demonstrate the characteristics of God in us, the characteristics of Jesus in us, Lord. May we demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit, mighty God, in every sphere of our lives, in our families, in our communities, in our workplace, in our nation, 
in the name of Jesus. So Father, we just thank you, Lord, that uh, your blessing is upon your people, that your favor goes ahead of them like a shield, and that, Lord, you will make crooked paths straight for them. Bless them and keep them, Lord, and cause your face to shine upon them and be gracious unto them and grant them your peace. In Jesus' name, amen.